I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn. I'm here at the Web 2.0 Expo in New York, and I'm talking with Peter Friedman, who's the CEO of Live World. You're in kind of an unusual situation. Uh, Live World is perhaps the only public social networking company. How are you faring in the uh, current economic crisis? Well, overall, our business is doing pretty good because we're in a pretty hot sector. Uh, social networking is hot. Many companies are adding uh, more social networking activities. Our business is about helping major brands market through the use of social networking. We build their private label communities. So what we're finding is more and more brands are moving towards this area. So it's a growth area, even in a touchy economy. So I think a lot of people are familiar with Ning as a social networking company. How is your model different or the same as Ning's? In our model, we're doing services for these large brands and we're creating completely private label solutions for them. So they pay us first for consulting to help them figure out their strategy, then to develop and set up these systems, and then run the systems for them, and more importantly, not just operate the technology, but have community managers and moderators that help build the community that represents the culture of their brand, brings in their customers, listens to their customers, and then extends that brand. Other companies, for example, Ning, are really advertising-based. Ning is really a, a service that is building a very large service that lets individuals and probably small businesses create subset social networks as part of the Ning experience. And then as Ning builds that volume, they can go to advertisers and say, advertise here. We're not about an advertising-based model. We're creating brand marketing solutions for big brands. So they pay us almost as a, an agency and a services company to do that. You know, I'm wondering if you could give us a little um, historical perspective because your company was founded in 1999 before social networking was something people talked about, before Web 2.0 was something people talked about. How have you seen the uh, technology evolve, but also maybe you, the way users are you, interacting with the technology? Well, actually, um, we're really going to be historical. Our team goes all the way back to uh, 1984 to 1986 at Apple Computer, where we came from and built and managed Apple Computer's industry social networks in the 80s and early 90s. Then we left in 1996 to start this company to do the same thing for other brands that we did for Apple, but on the internet, and we went public in 1999. And it's a really interesting question that you ask, because if I go all the way back to the mid-80s and Apple, a company founded and born and prospered on the emotional experience of its groups of people, the social networking we're doing there, at the part that counts, the user experience and the dialogue and relationships that form, that's the same as what we're trying to do today. But the technology has changed. And the internet has created a distributed model of technology that lets everybody participate. So you don't have to be Apple Computer with all its technology and cultural experience. You can be any brand and use the technology in the internet and reach anybody. And because it's become so pervasive, it's much more meaningful, like kind of a tipping point in social networking. I think the most significant thing is what we call Generation C for Community Connected. This is anybody born after 1978. They grew up with this, with uh, the internet in one hand, cell phone in the other, and video games in between. Their brains have literally evolved differently. They're not using this because they're in high school or college. It's because they were born after 1978 and they operate in society difference, differently. That changes the game for all marketeers because their audience behaves differently, differently and sees everything through a social network context. All right, thank you very much, Peter Friedman, CEO of Live World. And thank you for watching Tech Confidential's Behind the Money. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn. Mm -hmm.